How's it going guys? Unreal Health, new YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all my latest health rants, advice, and tips. So with this deer antler thing, you know, we've talked a lot about the, uh, the exploitation of animals to get the deer antler, to get the deer placenta, to get the colostrum. We've been talking about that, but are there actually any health benefits of this deer antler product? Is it something that is scientifically backed, or is it kind of like a snake oil, snake oil salesman kind of tonic thing? Now, just by going through this uh, little article here on Fox News uh, that's written by here by Chris Killam, who's, uh, you know, been researching natural remedies from around the world and stuff like that, published March 6, 2013. The article is, uh, I guess it's it was started just because of, uh, apparently, uh, a football player, uh, Ray Lewis, you know, uh, allegedly took it or something like that. And since it's really high in IGF-1, it's something, it's a banned substance in the NFL. Basically, just in this article, quick little article, he basically goes to show, uh, he just says, you know, there's really actually no scientific proof that this deer antler does what it says that it should do. And he also mentions, it's while it may not do anything to you, it's also not really harmful to you. So it's more, if anything, it's just a placebo. It's just a placebo. And he just goes, uh, just kind of explain, you know, basically what, what it does and what it doesn't really do. So if we go to the website here, uh, if we go to, you know, we're on Longevity Warehouse. So this is David Wolf's website. David Wolf um, uh, doesn't allegedly own this website, but it's his website. And this is uh, Sir Thrival. So this is Daniel Vitalis' product that David Wolf is selling on his website. So through a multi-level marketing uh, program there. And so this product here, ooh, it's on sale today. I get to save uh, not even $5. Perfect. Anyways, so we just, uh, a little bit of a sales pitch here, a little bit of a sales pitch. Um, this velvet elk antler, uh, you know, high in insulin growth factors one and two. Increase lean body mass, reduce fat, build bone, muscle, nerves. See, the thing that they don't mention here is that IGF-1 is actually correlated to higher levels of cancer. So we definitely see this with people who are eating, um, you know, especially lots of dairy. Because dairy, dairy is designed for animals to grow bigger. So if you're a baby calf, or sorry, I have to correct myself. If you're a calf, then you want to be drinking milk because you want to grow big. But once you finally, you know, grow to the appropriate size, you start eating grass. You transition, right? And so IGF-1, um, this is a, a video on Dr. Greger's uh, website. Dr. Greger is awesome because he's actually citing a lot of scientific studies, which a lot of these huckster, snake oilsman guy like David Wolf, Daniel Vitalis, uh, Matt Marnock, they don't cite any scientific studies because there is no scientific studies done on a lot of shit that they sell. It's all these like, you know, tonics and remedies and shit like that that have no scientific backing at all. So basically what this deer antler velvet product is saying, I raise IGF level uh, levels one in your body. I'm also raising your risk for cancer. So breast cancer, prostate cancer. Um, these are things that they don't mention here in this uh, in this sales pitch, IGF-1 levels, higher IGF-1 levels correlate to higher rates of cancer. And so, I mean, what, what are these guys trying to sell us? Are they trying to sell us a cancer, you know, enabling uh, solution to our problems? Like, are they, do they want you to get cancer? So they're selling it in a bottle that, you know, promotes IGF-1 production in the body? Like, come on, guys, that is uh, kind of ridiculous. If these guys actually did any research on their products, they did any research at all, and, and they weren't thinking about their pocketbooks, maybe they'd come across something like this because they would take it off the market because they might be, they might have the integrity to be like, oh, you know, maybe this product actually isn't good for human health. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Make decisions for yourself. Links to everything that I've quoted in the box below. Peace out.